Hi, this is Swapna Bhartia and welcome to TFR Newsroom. And today we have with us Amit Sanyal, Vice President of Marketing at Innovium. Amit, first of all, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you, Swapna. Uh, let's learn a bit about Innovium. What do you folks do? We are a company that was started with a vision of providing the most innovative switch silicon solutions for cloud and edge data centers. We started with a ground up design and we focused on customer innovation and delivered a sterling switch silicon, which is the world's most scalable and most power efficient programmable switch silicon with unmatched features and capabilities. And today we are deployed at three of the world's top five cloud customers. We are proven, we are deployed at scale, in fact, we shipped over a million ports in uh, last year. Now let's talk about uh, the announcement that you're making today. We have been engaged with the top cloud and hyperscale customers for a while. Okay, so we have enabled them to leverage and benefit from network disaggregation. The ability to disaggregate hardware and software and, and be able to deploy them separately because there are certain lot of benefits of network disaggregation. What we are doing is the learnings and the experience that we've had in engaging and enabling the hyperscalers, we are taking it to the broader market. We are targeting the next year of customers where these customers want to benefit similarly from network disaggregation, just like hyperscalers have. So what we have done is we are working with the partners uh, the ODM partners to be able to build robust systems that are now also validated and tested with open source Sonic network OS, as well as all the connectivity choices so that these are robust, ready to deploy. So it can cut down on time, effort, and as an end customer, you do not need as many resources, which typically only hyperscalers have had. So we are enabling the broader set of customers by providing a fully tested, validated, ready to deploy solution with Terra Certified. You said that customers are looking at open and disaggregated model of uh, networking. What is driving that? If you look at the IT stack today, pretty much all the tiers of the IT stack disaggregation is going on, whether it's servers, storage, or applications. You know, you cannot buy a server that is vertically integrated today. People like Sun and Deck and those guys used to do that, but that model is no longer valid. People pick the right processor, buy the right systems, and then deploy with the right operating system. That model is prevalent because it offers benefits of faster innovation. People, every company is able to innovate at, at their own layer. It's open. Uh, it gives a lot of choice to the end customer and it gives you better total cost of ownership. So for those reasons, customers are looking at disaggregated model. And that model has been deployed by the top hyperscalers in networking today as well. Can you talk about what does your kind of offering look like in today's world, especially in the cloud native things, things get so complicated that a lot of time people want managed solution, but sometimes they want flexibility where they can pick, pick and choose. So talk about the product portfolio of Innovium. We have a com comprehensive portfolio, right? We have products, uh, we have three products in fact. We have Terralinks 5 that is targeted at top of rack and edge deployments. We have Terralink 7 that is powering today all the tiers of the data center network, cloud data center network. And then we have Terralink 8, which is for the next generation of cloud data centers. So it's a comprehensive portfolio and they can run Sonic on top of switches built on any one of those products. When you look at Innovium, um, what is your engagement? You already mentioned, Sony. What is your engagement with the open source community? Uh, what open source projects you are leveraging? And are you also engaging with those projects to contribute back? So we find that in networking, open source, people have embraced open source like the open source Sonic Network OS. We, uh, are, we have a Sonic first strategy at Innovium. We are committed to open source. We have hardened 
Sonic on our silicon, which is Terralynx. Uh, we've enabled a number of customers deploy open source Sonic in their network. In fact, LinkedIn is one such customer where they are deploying open source Sonic on top of Terralynx in production data centers. And we have also been contributing back to the uh, open source uh, Sonic effort. When we look at um, open source, uh, typically it's like solving day one problem. Anybody can go and download the software from the GitHub repository and they start running it. But then, you know, companies, you know, they might want to add functionality. Updating that becomes challenge. Security patches become challenge. Scaling becomes challenge. So uh, commercialization of open source is a really critical piece of sustainability of any open source project. So in terms of Sonic also, uh, can you talk a bit about what role is Innovium playing in kind of helping Sonic users they do know it's upstream open source project, but there is a company also which will you know offer them support and you know whatever additional feature they want and need because that is critical for any open source project. I think customers when they look at adopting open source, they want to benefit from the open source momentum, the contributions, the faster innovation, but at the same time, they do want support service, somebody that stands behind that open source software. So that is one thing we heard from our customers and that is the reason we are offering support for Sonic. Sonic is our, it's, as I said, it's our uh, Sonic first strategy is what we are pursuing. We are supporting the software and if a customer has an issue, they can rely upon us to be able to support it. I mean, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about not only Innovium, uh, Sonic, how you're helping the Sonic community consume the, the stack, open source stack better, and also the edge, uh, com you know, data centers uh, that was a, i love the conversation because edge 5g and you know uh, this is this is where we are heading so thanks for your time and i look forward to talk to you again at some point thank you thank you thank you swapnil great conversation great chat <laughs>